I'm Kristen with the Rogers Public Library and this week for quilt creations we are going to be making a little bat. So in your craft packet you'll have four strips of black paper and I'll show you how to make it. So to begin we're going to take one of our black strips and we're going to cut it in thirds. So we're just going to kind of fold it over until we have about equal thirds. It doesn't have to be exact and then we'll cut it. And for one third, we're going to roll it up into a ball. Once it is rolled up, we can let it go and remove it from our quilling tool. And then we will go ahead and seal it up by taking some glue and adding some to the end of our strip and then pressing that against the rest of the rolled up strip so that it stays sealed. Now we're going to start with a teardrop shape. So we're going to grab a spot and pinch. That gives us a little teardrop. And then we're going to kind of make a triangle. But we want one side to be longer than the others so they're not going to be all the same size so we have our teardrop we're going to go up towards the top of it and pinch so that it's almost a little half circle but not quite and then come over just a little bit and then pinch again so it's going to be kind of a triangle with a little bit of a curve here to the long, the longest side. So that is one piece. We'll take our next third and roll that up into a ball. Once it's rolled up, we can let it go, remove it and seal it up. And we'll pinch into a teardrop again. And then we're gonna do pretty much the same shape. So it doesn't have to match exactly with our first one, but we want it to be similar. Okay, so that is our next piece. And then our third, Piece. We're going to roll up into a ball, let it go. And this one we want to make a little bigger, so we're going to unroll it just a bit by holding the center and then just kind of unrolling it. So it's going to be a little bit bigger and then we can seal it up. and then make the same shape. So pinch into a teardrop, and then pinch one side further up towards the other end, and then move over just a bit to pinch again. Now these three pieces together are going to make one of our bat wings. So now we're going to take another strip of black and cut it into thirds again. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing that we just did for these three pieces to make the other wing. So once we have both of our wings done, we are done with the hardest part of our bat. We're going to take another black strip and cut it in half. We're going to roll one half up into a circle. Once it's rolled up, we'll let it go. This is going to be our bat's head. So you can make it as large or small as you like. I'm going to pull mine a little tighter and roll up the outside to be 
tighter layers around so that mine gets a little smaller, but you can make it bigger if you would like it to be a bigger head. And we just need to seal it up, and because that is our bat's round head, we don't need to pinch it at all. The other half of that strip, we're going to cut in half again to make two fourth strips. And these are going to be the bat's ears. So for both of these, we will start with rolling it up into a small circle or ball. And once it's rolled up, we'll let it go. And we'll go ahead and seal it up because we want these to stay pretty small. And then we'll start out by pinching into a teardrop shape. And then while we hold that pinched spot, take another finger and just press across the bottom rounded edge of that teardrop and it will give us a little triangle. That will be one of our bat's ears. And then we'll make another one just like that. Once we have those ears done, the very last thing we need to make is a big fat circle for the bat's body. So we're going to take our last strip of black and roll it up the full strip into one big fat circle. Once it's rolled up, we'll let it go. This is going to be a very large circle, so if you want your bat to be that large, that's fine. But you can also pull it a little tighter to still have a nice fat circle, but a little smaller. It's up to you how large you want each of these pieces to be. And then we'll seal it up, and this is just going to stay a circle. So now all that's left to do is Grab our background and add our bat and assemble it all together. Now I'm going to put my little bat right up in the moon flying around. You may place your bat anywhere you would like on your background. I'm going to put some glue all over the back of the little body and stick it down there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my bat's head, put some glue on the back of that, and also on a little, just one little strip of glue where it's going to connect to the body to give it a little more stability there. For the ears, we'll do the same. Just a little bit of glue on the back and on the bottom of the triangle where it is going to touch the bat's head. We'll do that for the other ear as well. And then we have our wings. So the largest piece that we made is going to be the bottom of the wing on each side. And then you can just arrange the other two pieces however you would like to fit it together. The curved edges should fit nicely together so that each little curve connects to another, the other curved part of the piece beneath it. So we'll start with putting some glue on the top rounded edge of our larger piece, the bottom one. And then we'll just stick our next piece onto that. It's not going to fill up the whole side, but that's fine. So then the last one is going to 
connect back up to the tip of the first piece and onto the back of the second piece. The longer pointed edges all come together in the center of the bat swing at the point where it's going to join with the body of our bat. So then I'll just add some glue to the back of that and maybe a little along that edge where it's going to connect to the body and then place it on our paper and then we'll attach the three pieces of the other wing together and then again we just add our glue and then attach it to our background now you can have the wings so that they just touch the side of the body or you can move them up a little so that they touch closer to the neck and the rounded edge kind of goes right around the body. So whichever version you prefer for your little bat. And that's it. That is our spooky quilt creation for this week. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next week to make a black cat. Bye.